Greetings, citizen. Sorry, officer, but I got no one to help since my best mechanic got slaughtered. None of you cops did jack about it. I am here in regards to a fugitive. Oh, damn. What is wrong with this thing? I need to get that car down, or God knows what might happen. Can you help me out with this? It's new and I don't know where I put the manual. Stand back. Go on, then. Let's see how it's done. I thought you knew how to bring that car down. Can't be that hard. It doesn't start. Pop the hood. So, do you know what the problem is? The coil has been disconnected. That would explain the car not starting. Spark plugs are not the main culprit. There is no power. Battery is fine, stable, above 12 volts. That's one thing checked off then. I detected an electric current inside the cooling tank. I recommend grounding it to fix the problem, but I am sure... I'm guessing it's an easy fix. It started. We're on the money. Well done, Robocop. You are one serious Swiss Army man. I am best at catching criminals. I should get back to it. You said earlier you were looking for someone. A biker. Have you repaired any motorcycles recently? As a matter of fact, I did. This big, chunky guy showed up. Bald head, big ears, and spiky beard. Wasn't really warm and cuddly, but he paid cash in advance. So why would I refuse? Do you know the whereabouts of this individual? I don't, but he asked me if I do paint jobs too. Then showed me a ripped out page that had a tattoo design on it. He asked me to spray a mean looking bird onto his gas tank. Why do you think the design was intended for a tattoo? The page he handed me had other graphics, which were clearly tattoo designs. And, as far as I remember, it had the address of a tattoo parlor that's close by printed on the bottom of the page. What was the design you sprayed onto his motorcycle? It was some sort of bird, but I'm, I don't know what it's called. I'm not a botanist, but it had a bald head. Thank you for the information. Proceeding to the tattoo parlor.
I don't care if OCP lost some money for once. Full metal armor, and you still want piercings. Hey, respect. I am not here for that. A tattoo, then. It'll really bring out that jawline. Having a tattoo on the face is against the police code of conduct. Isn't that boring? Anyway, if you're not here for inking, what do you want? A biker co- Spike. I heard he was your customer. 
I don't serve no bikers. Don't know who told you that, but it's a load of bull. Are you denying making tattoos for the street vultures? <laughs> You've got no proof, cop. Now stay off my case. I need to get back to my work. What next? You gonna try to tell me that I'm smuggling nuke in a red inker? Do you? You still here? I don't want my customers to confuse my parlor for an auto- I found evidence of your connections to the biker gang. Uh, I'm not telling you nothing, cop. Spike and what is left of the street vultures are going down. It is your choice if you want to join them. Ah, oh, fuck. I told him not to come in here when he was so hot. He brought this on himself. Where is he? Uh, he's got a place nearby somewhere, but I don't know where exactly. I am afraid this information is too vague. His motorcycle must be parked outside. It's some sort of chopper, I don't know. You can check the plate number on that photo. Wise choice for a scum artist. Ugh. I can't concentrate with all those reflections bouncing off your armor. Hey, Robocop. Mr. Mills would like to have a word. He's waiting in the car. Come on, come on! It is an honor to finally meet the hero of the city in person. It's a shame that our basketball team can't fill us with similar pride. Yeah, just lost to Atlanta. Some say it's because of a lack of team players. Do you think it's that important? Being a team player?
No. By working alone, I'm only responsible for myself. It's a peculiarity of the position you play. But would you really want to be left alone? As for me, I have always valued team play. That was the way things were when my parents worked for the city. My grandfather used to tell me that this neighborhood was a great place for an evening stroll. Now it's different. Kuzak allows the city to be taken over by criminals. He can't stop it because he's not a team player. He fails to realize that OCP has given this city its most precious treasure. You. I want to work with you and OCP to improve this city. I want to take care of your interests. It's about time someone did. But to make it a reality, we would need your support. So, what do you think about getting involved in politics? I stay far away from politics. However, politics does not stay away from you, does it? You are the symbol of the city. Everything you do, everything you say has a political impact. No matter if you talk privately or publicly, you should choose what you want to represent. Incompetence and unaccountability or partnership and determination. Only one of these paths leads Detroit to its former glory. You say you prefer to go solo. No. You're a shooting guard. An excellent core player. We will build a team around you. And you'll become even more effective. We have a common goal. Together, it will be easier to achieve it. Oh, you'll have to forgive me. We're already late for another meeting. Now think about what we've discussed. About what we could do for the city. Together, as a team. Count on your support. Is this the right button? Can it hear me? Yes, sir. He can hear you. Hey, Silver Boy. The tracker says you were near the apartment of that domestic terrorist we talked about. Your memory is probably glitchy, so I figured I'd send you a friendly reminder. Check the place out. How do you guys end these? Over and out? There's no need... Over and out. Ugh. Officer Washington, I will be your field trainer for today. Requesting readiness confirmation. Yeah, thanks for the offer, but maybe the others are right. I might not really be cut out for field work. Ask yourself, do I have the will to clean the streets of Detroit of unrighteous individuals? Yeah. As a matter of fact, I do. Officer Washington reporting for field training. Good, you have your body armor on. Well done. What about the rest of your gear? Service pistol? Got it. Spare ammunition? Check. Duty light? Never part with it. Good job. Preparation is the most important. So is knowing your surroundings. Are you familiar with this area? Isn't this the part of the city where it gets really busy, like, all the time? Please! I think that answers my question. Please! I need your help! 
set the radio to my channel and follow me. Roger that. An officer needs to be confident. Straight back, sturdy walk, together with a clear and unshaking voice. Officers, thank God you're here. I really need your help. What happens is... When responding to a request for aid, the first thing is to introduce yourself to the potential victim. Watch and learn. I am Officer Murphy. How do you do, madam? Well, to tell you the truth... The second thing is to reassure the victim of their safety. Madam, you do not need to be afraid anymore. We are here to help you. Yes, but it's not about me. The third thing is... I'm quite familiar with the field training manual, so if you don't mind, I'll take over. Ma'am, could you please tell us what happened? It's my cat, Fortune. He's missing. Fortune is my biggest treasure. I can't lose him. Do you have any idea where he might be? The only place I can think of is the basement. I've also heard some ruckus coming from downstairs today, but the lights aren't working and my eyesight's not so good anymore. Is it okay for us to investigate the basement? Yes, it makes an excellent opportunity for low light training. Let us proceed downstairs. Good luck down there. The cat has that name for a reason. He really brings fortune. So don't you come back without him. Turn your flashlight on. Right. Duty light can be advantageous, but it can also be a liability. Keeping it close to you creates a clear target for the violators. It is good practice to hold the duty light away from your body. I don't remember reading that in the field manual. Did you get it from a different book? No, from experience. Clear. Clear. Hey, I think I just saw the cat. You think I should try to remove these planks? Go ahead.
Wow! I didn't know I had so much strength in me. You will never know until you try. What was that? Ah, oh, man, I walked into a mess. And now my shoes are covered in strawberry jam. When chasing a suspect, do not rush head first. Take blind corners as wide as possible. Cuts down on being surprised. has left a trail. This time pace yourself. Do not get out of breath during a foot pursuit. You will need stamina to engage the fugitive later. Oh, looks like he stopped by the spill paint can. Suspect might be intoxicated. I used to know these kids who gave their cat stomach medicine to make it loopy. Is there a moral to that story? Cats are susceptible to substance misuse. Shh! I heard something. I think it's coming from the piano. That cat must be hiding inside. Let me lure it out.
Go ahead. There it is! It's escaping! Darn it! It went through here, but that's a very narrow passage. Let's try the door. It's locked, but I can try to squeeze through that gap. Go ahead. Okay, here I go. It's actually not as bad as I thought. Cool. Now let me get that door open for you. Who would have thought that being small can actually have its advantages? An eager police officer with a small build is worth twice as much as a big slacker. Good work, Officer Washington. Thank you, sir. What was that? I'm afraid this time it's a one-way street, Mr. Cat. But where are you hiding? There he is. Oh gosh, Fortune, you look a mess. You think he's all right? The cat is fine. You can take it back to its owner. I will clean up any remaining mess. Okay, see you soon. Washington, do you read me? Loud and clear, what is your status? We got a problem. I'm on the second floor and have a visual on multiple armed suspects entering our location. Most of them are heading your way, but I can hear some coming up the stairs. Do not engage them. Take your time. Got it. Officer Washington? Sir. Keep cool. I am coming up to have your back. Glad to hear that, sir. Give him all you got! Yeah. Oh. 
much longer, sir. We're in, pig. Nowhere to hide now. Drop your guns. Fuck! He got me. Ah! What is your status? I'm hit. Remain calm. I am here. That was tense. I need a breather. Officer Washington, your performance today was impressive. Thank you, sir. Means a lot coming from you. You will be fine. It is only a superficial wound. See? I've told you that cat brings luck. Isn't this just wonderful?
enjoy with the broadcast. Just like he used us, we hired us and we failed to deliver. That's what we need to get. We were over the dock. Talk about a sore loser. You had your chance, we blew it. Now it's the torch chance turn. Deal with it, biker bitch. Requesting an ambulance. One unconscious fugitive suffering heavy blood loss. Operator, Wendell's trail leads to the outskirts west of town, continuing pursuit.
even connect a few fucking cables and now they don't even answer Shh. it's the new guy he's waiting for some big wig to show up He's planning to do some psycho presentation. And who is the bigwig? That's what I want to find out. Mr. W, we still have no contact with the Funhouse. I'm on the phone. We're ready. I understand, but please tell him that this is not a meeting that can be postponed. I see. So, they ain't coming, right? Fucking suits! Keep your anger to yourself, or I'll share mine with you. Rumbo? Who's there? Show yourself! You'd better not. As you wish, creep. You are under arrest. Come quietly. Do you really believe that's what's gonna happen? Take care of him, boys. I'll meet you on the roof. What's up, metal freak? Forget where you left your car? You better go, Miss Ortiz. It seems there will be trouble.
Is that you? Come to us. Yeah, Dad, we're waiting for you! offers at Jewberry Mall. Now a free gift for engaged couples. Goldfinch Jewelry has a discount on wedding rings. Choose something special. It's a symbol of your love and something for her to remember you by after you decided to get yourself killed and leave your family all alone, Alex Murphy. Don't hesitate. Come and take advantage of our offer. Is that, Is that you? You... You, you, you look, look different. different. You're, You're scaring, scaring me. me. I, I, don't I don't like how scary, scary you are now. now. It's, it's not, not your, your dad, dad, kid. It's, it's not, not even a police, police officer. officer. I don't, I don't know, know what, what it is anymore. anymore.
The remains of my husband, a police officer killed in the line of duty, were used to create some kind of a metal monster. I need to bury it to move forward with my life. Do you have a funeral suit that would fit that empty shell? Look at it. It thinks itself as human. A world-class husband. A father. A cop. Did you, Did you hear? hear? It's, it's true. true. You're, you're not, not one of us anymore. anymore. You're, you're not, not human. And, and you're, you're not, not a real cop. cop. You're, you're just, just the, the rotting body. remains of <laughs> Alex Murphy. You're, you're something, something that should never have been. been. Something, something that should not, not exist. exist. We have, we have to, to fix you. you. We, we have, have to erase you. And we, and we will. will. Just, Just come, come to us. Come, come to the, to the rooftop. rooftop. We are waiting. It's the crap that is stuck to our shoe. A cuckoo egg planted by OCP. We need to clear our station of this shit. We must smash that thing. Fire at will. You're not one of us. You're gonna fry. You feel that too, don't you? in the kitchen. Do you like it? The mug. Dad? Dad? Can you Can fix, you the, fix camera? the camera? I, I think, think something's, something's broken. broken. Dad wouldn't, wouldn't miss, miss it, it, would he? Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. Do you Do really have, have to go? go? You, you look, look so, so sexy, sexy in that, that uniform. uniform. Why, Why won't, won't you stay, stay a little longer?
Why are you here? Do you not love your family? No attachments. No leverage. This is a gift. Don't take him away from me! Everyone wants to be back home. No! Welcome, Welcome Chopper. Let's, Let's take, take a stroll, stroll through your... Oh. Oh. Do you think you can just go back? Go on with your life like nothing happened. This is a one-family house, built by ZM Industries. It's for sale because the head of the family to which it belonged was shot in the head. Your family has forgotten you. Why do you want to remember that? You attach, you attach yourself, yourself to something that is the weakest in you. To the part that's still human. Have you thought it over? Why not make me an offer? Why carry this burden? What is your sacrifice worth? Holding on to them makes you weak. Destroy them. Destroy them before they destroy you. Alex Murphy, the one and the only. I'm here because you have something that belongs to me. You have my badge. Lewis gave it to me. Lewis is hurt because of you. Because you keep insisting that you're something that you're not. You think that you're a machine that's simply using my brain, but that's not true. I'm dead and I want to finally rest, but you won't let me. Your delusions keep tormenting me and my family. You need to let us go. I want my badge back. I have it, so I remember. Remember what? The lie? Lewis knows us. She would not lie. Give it to me. It's mine. But, Lewis, I want it back. This is my badge. Then I'll have to take it back myself. You are strong enough to take him. Don't forget you have a partner who's counting on you. Take this gift. Don't forget who you are. Alex Murphy! Get up, Robo. Get up, for God's sake. That's it, Robo. Keep going. Where's the chopper? The cops will be here any- Wendell Antonowski. Haven't you had enough yet? You are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Relax. I I'm not your enemy. If I were, you would have already... You have the right to an attorney. Hey! I, I wanted to help you. Release you from the burden of your past life, of your memories. But you, you don't want to lose them, right? Now I get it. Anything you say may be used against you. I can give you back those memories. All of them. We should help each other. We have the same boss! Police! God damn it, you again? People need to see this. Cuff him. He is a cop killer. Hands behind your back! Can you hand me? My lighter. It's a family heirloom. I wouldn't want to lose it. You mean this trinket? It'll be safer in the prison depository. You'll pick it up yourself in... I don't know, 150 years? Plenty of time for rehabilitation. Top story. Wendell Antonowski. The infamous new guy in town has been apprehended today. Despite his glitches, Robocop was able to capture Antonowski. The malfunction has again been caught on camera by our own Samantha Ortiz. Robocop's efforts have prompted a public debate regarding its status as a machine. Here's a statement from John Mills, a candidate for the mayor's office in the upcoming mayoral election. Today, Robocop has done more for this city than the current administration has done in its entire term. 
That's why I feel that it's time to give something back. If elected, I will be advocating to grant Robocop the status of a free, living human being. That's right. Vote Mills, vote Robocop. Staying on the topic of OCP, the CEO of Omni Consumer Products suffered a heart attack earlier today. The self-made entrepreneur has been taken to the Gibson Memorial Hospital for observation. His condition is stable. We wish you a speedy recovery. Wendell's in prison and the old man is on his way out? Could this day be any better? Geez, Steph, don't you have any respect? Here's the man of the hour. Congrats, Robo! You caught that bastard for what he did to Lewis. We are not done yet. Murphy, come talk to me after you're done with your evaluation. I knew he'd get him. I just knew he'd be the one to bust that asshole. Glad we have Murphy on our team. Are you having problems? Is that the getting TV off personality I keep seeing on television? Something not many people know about me. I used to be a car mechanic before I landed this job. Is that supposed to put us at ease, Morgan? Congratulations on catching Wendell. You seem to constantly be front-page news. Not only that, your situation has become a topic of public debate. I imagine that could take a toll on anyone. How are you dealing with other people trying to determine your identity for you? Someone is fighting for my rights. That's probably the healthiest way of looking at it. But the status of a human would make you an autonomous being. It opens many doors. Being given human rights would let you fully take control of your life. Is that something that you'd actually want? I do not need other people's approval to determine who I am. No. But... No man is an island. The idea of granting you human rights is a very important issue. But no more important than the main reason for today's session. Many people might have seen some of your glitching on TV, but I have the whole report on the heavy glitches that you suffered before capturing Wendell. The only other time you've experienced anything similar was during the slaughterhouse incident. That's when your partner was wounded. Now, you were fighting the person responsible for it. Do you think the severity of those glitches is caused by the intense feelings that you have towards either of them? My partner is important. I needed to do right by her. I know how close she is to you. Let's dig a little deeper. 
Your typical glitches are triggered by sensory stimulation, similar to how most people experience memories when exposed to particular sights, sounds, or smells. But this wasn't the case with the other glitches that you experienced recently? No, they triggered randomly. That's what I suspected. And now tell me, what did they seem like to you when you experienced them? Corrupted visions of my past. I think we're on to something. Your usual glitches were making you recall memories. No more harmful than remembering your wedding day when hearing Mendelssohn's march. We have to differentiate them from those severe malfunctions that you experienced in the slaughterhouse and at the mall. Those latter ones are the real problem, and we need to get to the bottom of it. But I think I've gathered quite a lot of valuable data, and at our next session, I'll present my conclusions. Hey, Robo, could you stop by the cells on your way to read? Someone there wants to speak to you. If it happens, I'm definitely getting sacked. I've got a degree in robotics, not in human relations. I'd recognize those footsteps anywhere. Over here, Tim. What did you do this time? Well, your buddies found me with some nuke that I bought with that money that you let me keep, remember? It turns out that the legal amount that you can carry is zero. Can you believe that? I can and I do. Yeah, you're the one who'd know. But none of this matters. I'm here mainly to congratulate us. We did it. We got the guy. We? We sure did, partner. Any new leads? Are you looking for trouble? This is the they lived happily ever after part of the story. Wendell was conducting suspicious activity for someone at OCP. I want to know who. Shit. I thought you were just looking to avenge your partner. I forgot that you're a dutiful officer. All right. I'll keep my ear to the ground and see what the streets are saying. Good. Talk to you later, partner.
here? The old man had a heart attack? Seriously? I didn't think he had hand, rookie? Actually, I do. Still not used to working with Murphy. Murphy, in my office. You'll eventually forget about being shot the first time. <laughs> yeah? When? When you get shot the second time. Catching Antonowski put what? a smile on a lot of people's faces. But we still have one unresolved issue. Catching his accomplice at OCP. Exactly. And when everyone realizes that OCP's been sabotaging us the whole time, mentions of a strike will come up again. We don't want that. So who do you think it is? Becker is an obvious choice. I just don't know if that's not too obvious. Do you suspect that Becker is on Windows payroll? It has to be him. Then you won't like what I've got to say next. Becker wanted to meet you. You're supposed to show up at some old factory. And he wanted you to come alone. A rather unusual request. That's why I'll get Officer Washington to listen in. By the way, how do you feel about him? Can you trust him? He is an OCP employee first, police officer second. I know what you mean. Maybe having him listen in on your meeting with Becker will give us some definite answers to what his priorities are. I'm skeptical of anyone that OCP tries to push on us. First Becker, then Washington, and let's not forget about Dr. Blanche. Speaking of which, Dr. Blanche, is she... is she being helpful? Are you getting anything out of those sessions? She is an enormous help. She listens. Good. That's good to hear. Sometimes that's all it takes. I will meet Becker, but there is a place I will visit first. Sure thing. In the meantime, I'll brief your overseer. Officer Washington! Yes, sir. You've got a new assignment. I'm ready and willing.
Did you watch the game yesterday? I don't know what's wrong with our team. What losers? TV out the window, but it was too heavy. I pulled a hamstring because of that. Wait, why are you asking me about my liver and kidneys? They shot me in the leg. We can offer you a higher standard of accommodation and additional benefits. She's waiting for you, Murphy. Just get the bullet out and let me leave. Come on, give me the skinny. I want to know everything. Ah, oh, Murphy, we started the party a little early. I hope you don't mind. Sorry, partner. It's my fault. I just gotta hear what's happening at the precinct. In usual fashion, OCP's doing everything in its power to keep the police down. Come on! This is time to celebrate! Lewis is feeling better, Wendell's in jail... Let's party! If you don't think a strike is brewing... You know what? Let me get this grouch out of here so that you two can talk. Okay, okay, I'm going. Feel better, Lewis. You look well. I gotta admit, I sleep better knowing that you got that bastard. But what about you? How have you been lately? Did you get any more of those visions? I still see things. You know, ever since Antonowski showed up, they seem to be happening more often, and with greater intensity. I don't think I've ever seen you in such a state. I just know how it affects me, so I can't imagine how it affects you. The fact that he's the brother of one of those guys who... shot you. We should not let the past haunt us. Easier said than done. His presence reminds me of the day that I... That I left you. I often think that maybe if we didn't split up that day, things would have gone down differently. Neither of us could have predicted the consequence of our actions. That doesn't make me feel any less guilty. What I don't get is if Wendell is actually the brother of one of your murderers, then why did he come out now? After all this time? And why didn't he kill you when he got a chance? That is what I intend to find out. Right. Is it true that he's working with someone from OCP? That is what he claims. Damn, Becker. We should just lock him up already. I would like that. Maybe there's someone who'd be willing to help us? I don't know if you heard, but the old man ended up in this hospital after his heart attack. I'm not even sure if he's in a state to talk, but it probably wouldn't hurt to check if he knows anything, right? Anyway, I think I need a little rest after all this excitement. Thank you for visiting me. We'll be back to working together in no time. I look forward to it.
here. We're moving the old man to a private clinic in 20 minutes. Good. I don't think I can last a minute longer in this stench. Hey, where do you think you're going? To talk to the old man. You're the only one who actually showed up to pay him a visit. You know he talks about you a lot. Does he? Yeah, about you being granted human rights. He's rooting for you. So maybe it's not such a bad idea. You can go in. I served this town with every drop of my sweat. I always try to improve women's lives. I was good to them. Just like you told Michael, is that you? Your halo shines so bright. Someone in OCP was supporting Wendell's operations. I want to know who. Robocop? Oh, God. I'm getting close to my final days. And I just can't stand this uncertainty. But you came back from the other side. Tell me, how was it? Was it unbearable? Pain was, is crushing, but every officer is aware of the risk. That is not what I wanted to hear. I believe that death isn't the end. You are walking proof of that. Unfortunately, I have not completed all I set out to do. All saboteurs inside OCP won't let me. Are you referring to Max Becker? That weasel seeks not only to destroy you, but also my company. Be wary of him. I know you would never let anyone jeopardize the good name of OCP. Ah. Before you go... Could you be so kind and give me some painkillers? I am not qualified to administer medication. Please, anyone help me? God, I need my painkillers. How much longer do I have to stand this? Not much longer. The helicopter is on its way, sir. I'll give you your painkillers. Why the long face, Robo? They'll pump him full of OCP's cocktails and come Monday morning he'll be back to sleep as if nothing happened. You to treat me like this. 
I am the mayor of this city. Robocop, you have to intervene. Is there a problem? This man is preventing me from exposing OCP's hypocrisy. The way this hospital treats its patients is the best depiction of what OCP wants to do with this city. A brave policewoman shot in the line of duty is crammed into a small room while the old man has a cozy VIP wing of the hospital all to himself. This is what Delta City stands for. Even bigger division. But the time you had your tonsils removed, you were staying in the VIP wing too. We're not talking about me. We need to talk about the people. Robocop, please stop this madness. Make a statement. That policewoman is your partner, isn't she? So tell us, doesn't she deserve better? A hospital is not an appropriate place for political scuffles. Just what I expected from an OCP robot. They want to ruin this city. They want to take it away from the citizens, but I won't let them. Say no to Delta City. Vote for the neighborhoods. Vote for Kuzak. Okay, guys, we're leaving. We should find him a cozy, secluded, preferably padded room. Only seek answers. You came, so you can follow a command. Surprising. Surrender, or there will be trouble. Defiant as usual. Your creator screwed up the job by not installing an off switch. Well, it doesn't pay to fix their mistakes. It's cheaper just to replace you. So, Robocop. Meet the future of law enforcement. Power like yours, but at the push of a button. That is why it is not only more effective than you, but infinitely more obedient. That's just a fragment of the speech I had prepared. But hell, this product speaks for itself. What's the status? This is no appreciation party. Gunshots? What's going on? Becker has introduced me to his new robot. UEDs? They're already functional? Mr. Becker bragged about them during my onboarding. I'll try to find something that can help. Just give me a sec. Suppressing hostile activity.
in front of the OCP board. I'm looking at the footage now. Let us see if they ever got around to fixing it. Warm-up is over. Get ready for the real strike. I knew the guy that made you. Bob Morton, right? An arrogant brown dope. One last asshole on my way to the chair. Took a big gamble. Hey, who are you talking to? Is that Oedipus guy helping you? <sighs> Once I'm done with you, his career is over. You are durable, I'll give you that. You could become a strong part of my urban enforcement unit. Your redundant parts have too much impact on this game.
why I'll turn you off anyway. You can resist, but it doesn't change anything. I won't let something like you kill my project. 